Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you our two new calves and some of our other animals. There's Rocky. He's playing with the cows. Be nice, Rocky. And they're still bottle babies, so they're super friendly. And they all think that we're bottles for them. They like to be pet a little bit, but not too much. Here's Rocky. He's doing super good. Right, Rock? Don't chase the cow! Rocky! And here's the littlest one. The other one that had the white spot is named Ferdinand. This one doesn't have a name yet. But this one loves getting pet. This one will just stand here and not do anything just to get pet. Yeah, that one's got more white. This one doesn't have any white. It's kind of got a little butterfly on his face. They think we're bringing them bottles. We just gave them bottles this morning. So they're doing super well. And this used to be the pumpkin pasture. But we picked out all the pumpkins and now the cows are in here. We've had the pigs in here. And just some other animals. It's finally drinking some water. They're about two weeks and a half old. Two and a half weeks old. They're still not eating grains yet, but we walk down here. And then we'll show you the new goat. The other goats are doing super well. And we've been milking them, trying to make soap and butter, a lot of stuff. And we honestly love the milk. So we walk down here. And see, there's still some pumpkin leaves and stuff. But that's where we slaughtered one of our pigs that somebody said, Here, you can have this. We don't really need it anymore. They didn't care that we slaughtered it because it was pretty old anyway. This gate's pretty cool. We had it for our old Suffolk sheep. You might remember if you've watched my videos for a long time. So yeah, they're gone now. They've been uh, gone for quite a while. They didn't die. We sold them because we thought we were moving. But uh, now we're still moving, but it's been delayed a little bit. And here's Cooney Cooney. She's doing super well. She's got her little bucket of pumpkin food. And then this is Carlos. He's a little Norwegian goat. And he is super funny and destructive a little bit. And he's peeing on his lips. The goats do that to uh, attract the goat girls. So that's pretty funny, unless he pees on you. But that is a pallet uh, house that we made. The bottom part where you can see it's kind of broken. He was bucking that with his horns and trying to break it. And when we got him, they gave us uh, his house, some hay, that little hay feeder, and that tire and that little toy right there. He loves playing with that. Then we gave him his spool. That's basically like his table to eat on. It's super cool and funny. Let me jump down. Ugh. So yeah, we put his food on here with some leaves. He loves it. And he's got some super long horns. And he's a super nice goat. He walks super nice on a leash. And he's trying to check out the pig. So he's new here. He's only probably been here three days. He's super fluffy. You know, you might make you might think that he weighs a lot, but really, he just doesn't weigh barely anything. He's trying to hit me with his horns. And this piece of hair is super long. Yeah, he's super pretty. I'll make some super pretty goats. And Norwegian goats are actually for cheese and milk. So that's pretty good. And he's got his little water bucket right here. And his bigger water bucket that he eats leaves and then drops in for fun. So you guys would pick him out. That's his hay thing. It's hay feeder. He likes to buck at it a lot. There's Zaxon. Zaxon, say hi. Hi. Yeah, she's super nice. That's pretty good. The people we got him from, he was out in a sanctuary pretty far away in Nebraska. They didn't really just want him anymore. He was living with ducks. So, here he has girlfriends, goat girlfriends, and stuff. So, there we have it. 
some new animals and it's super pretty out here it's not too hot not too cold the pallet fence is doing great that we made and there's the pig destroying the water so there it is bye guys